Steve. All right, our next guests are some of the funniest people around. we got late night host Seth Meyers and comedian Mike Birbiglia. Okay, they make being funny on TV look really easy. But what exactly goes into creating an hour-long comedy special? Seth and Mike are giving us a peek behind the scenes in a documentary special. It's called Good One, a show about jokes. Take a look. When I was a kid, I feel like everything in my life was me trying to express, like, writing poetry, writing essays, writing jokes, drawing, painting, writing plays. And just, like, in every direction, people just being like, yeah, I don't think that's for you. And they didn't mean any harm by it. They just thought I was this kid who, like, trips a lot. Like, it's almost like the great metaphor for being a comedian is, like, it's the person who trips a lot and then figures out how to write about it in a funny way. Okay. I've seen you trip a lot. <laughs> True. Trip Your fine Moments motor ago backstage. Were neither, developed neither of us have very good fine, fine motor skills. Well, no. we, got, we got two very funny guys. How did these two very funny guys get together? How did this happen? We, we've known each other for years, yeah. and um, I'm a huge fan of Mike's. And then when we were putting together the show, we wanted to find a comedian who both is very funny and also really comfortable talking about process. And that's what Mike's always been. And so it's fascinating to watch him work through a new hour and see it build from the ground up. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is your process? Yeah. Well, it's funny, like, w- when when we filmed this, it was, I had just finished a show I wrote called The Old Man in the Pool at Lincoln Center. I did 12 weeks there, mm-hmm. and we filmed it as a special, and then I had no act. And that's what all comedians have. When we finish a special, you have nothing. <laughs> right. And then they said, well, what if we filmed it? And essentially what I... Which I've never seen before. I don't know that people have done this before, yeah. this kind of special. And um, a lot of it's just free writing. And then, like you see in the special, just trying stuff on stage. And some of it works, some of it doesn't. I like how it's all on cards or index cards or however you do it. Is that, is that the best way? And tell us what's going on with that. It, oh, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah the, that's my office of my, yeah. of my podcast working it out. The, um, yeah, I, I, I like that's the way that I remember jokes, yeah. honestly. A lot of it is... You have a topic, um, you know, and you write the topic and then you free associate on stage and you find what you think is funny, what you have in common with the audience about what they think is funny and what you think is funny. And you do it again. I just did. I should say I just did Mike's podcast. And so I saw all those cards on the wall and I'm so desperate for material. I was really just like, (laughs) (laughs) like, oh, flashlights. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Wait, no, but you you do sometimes bomb. Like a joke doesn't always land. Oh, Mike bombs all the time. (laughs) All the time. All the no, time. don't get me started. Seth, that... Seth bombs all the time. No, no, no. Things go uh, well I wish, I wish I could bomb as much as you. That oh, my be. God. And the fact that you so, still do it. No, he I take still it, have the courage no, he to take get it back night out Night after night, Seth gets on stage, no laughs. And I'm talking silence. Yeah. In no, the I room. think those were COVID shows. I no, think a, that was... a silence you can't even imagine in church. No. But it goes so, well for me, generally. So when yeah. they do belly flop, yeah. you how try them again. What do you do? How does that feel? I mean, we know. Because it's happened a lot. For us. Don't you feel like there's, I think if you're honest with your audience, which is one of the nice things about when you watch this documentary, Mike is being honest with his audience. These are new jokes. And I think that people... So he'll be like, get, be, go easy on me? No, it's more that I think people are genuinely excited to be first in. Yes, yeah. that's true. And I think that when a comedian says on stage, well, that didn't go particularly well. <laughs> I think an audience appreciates also knowing that you're paying attention to what their reaction is. No, it's true. And also like, the places I'm performing are like in the attic of the Columbus Theater in Providence, Rhode Island. So like there's a theater with 600 seats and then I'm in like the 100 seat like yeah. curtained off like balcony. So you're owning it. Yeah, I'm yeah. like I'm not in the actual theater. I remember when you did Weekend Update, you used to do that with some of your jokes because I would go to the rehearsals and you'd yeah. be like, okay, that one's no good. You yes. just went through that. How many times will you try out a joke before you say that's enough on that one? Mike has a little more patience. Yeah. I feel like I can only bomb with a joke five times before I lose. <laughs> you let it go. Let yeah, it. I just then I, I, you know, because I think if you, the audience can tell you're nervous about how it's going to go. Yeah. yeah. They know. If you're trying yeah. for the sixth time and, and they can see in your eyes, oh, God. <laughs> then yeah, it's not yeah. gonna but, how um, about you, Mike? I don't know, 10 or 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm on tour right now. Like, I'm going to Texas and Tulsa next week. I just got back from Denver. And I, I do. I work on these shows for like three or four years. Wow! Oh, wow! So I do it again and again and again and again because ultimately, you know, I, I always think of comedy as like a Venn diagram. It's like 
you have the things that you think are funny and then the things that the yes. audience think are funny. And when you f find the sweet spot, yeah. that's what your hour is. Mm -hmm. um, we saw that you got a tat. I did. I got a tattoo. A tiny, that was the littlest, tiny little tat. tiniest. That what was, was my the first one? fakest tat of all it's time. It's not fake. Well, a tiny tat. It's a beautiful star. There I am with my, you was know, my Dua tattoo Lipa. friend Dua Lipa. It yeah. looks like a freckle. Looks like a tick. <laughs> is it, wait, is it, it's real. Right? It is a real star tattoo. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So will you get more? If Dua Lipa wants to get more. <laughs> By the way, how was your 50th birthday? Celebrate. Um, It was great. You know, it was the coolest thing was they decided I'm 48. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise party. That was the surprise. They were like, "Surprise! You're 48." I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> what a perfect. Are thing. you a, a good at being surprised? No, I'm good, but I. My wife is very disappointed because everybody yells "surprise," and I. My reaction is very good. <laughs> That's what you said. I didn't, I'm just like didn't see it coming. Very well done. And they were like, "Why aren't you screaming?" I'm like, "I'm not easily That's not awed." Your type. That's like yeah, how, That's how comedians are with jokes. We don't yeah. laugh. We go. That's very funny. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Very good. Very oh, good. that's good. I'm very jealous that you came up with that. <laughs> good for you. All right, don't go anywhere, guys. Seth and Mike are going to stick around. Yeah, they agreed to spill a few secrets right after this. <laughs> it's like when we try to surprise people. On we are back with Seth Miles and, and Myers and Mike Birbiglia. How many years? I mean, <laughs> you can't say Myers, but other. Birbiglia is he, fine for you? He's Birbiglia. on NBC, for God's sake. You know sakes. what? Birbiglia was my landmine, so I was being careful. And I, <laughs> I do that. You know over what? I do that. Right? All the time. It happens. If if I did happen, it yesterday, if you remember. You stumble on the other one. Right, one. Okay, <laughs> so you guys are going to spill some juicy stories, but before we get started, we want to make the game a little bit more fun. We want to spice it up a little, so we were going to invite another funny person into the mix. Shall we bring in? Allison Bree. Yes, oh my. Hi, Allison. Hi, Allison. How are you? Oh, you're going to scoot down. Okay, perfect. Oh, right. All right, since y'all are all here together, we thought we'd want to learn a little bit more about you in a game we like to call Secrets. Shh. Okay, wow. so here's how it works. The wheels really get, overdid it with that sound effect. We, we do that. Yeah. I love it. The wheel behind us is going to spin. It's going to land on a story, and we're going to have to guess which one of you this actually happened to. All right, ready? Okay. Let's spin it. Here it is. Oh. I had my tongue pierced for a total of 18 hours. It's not you. It's Allison. Is it? Allison. Or, Allison. It's definitely Allison. Allison. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us How more. How was that? You guys, I pierced my tongue. It was a, a wild weekend in college. Oh, there it wow. is. Look at that. There oh it is. 18 hours, but got a photo. I got one photo. I, I think I was really is trying to Sarah show Michelle off Geller? for my friends. That is not Sarah Michelle <laughs> Geller, but she'll be very right. right. Am I right? No. Yes, I am. Okay, tell I us. I thought I was so cool and was just like, I'm getting my tongue pierced. I did. The next day, it swelled up oh, to no. sizes. I don't know if I was allergic or just being a baby. I couldn't eat or drink. Drink, and my mom had oh, to take geez. me back to, to the it. same, like, very cool <laughs> tattoo and piercing place. And I was like, who you think? Oh, like, it was embarrassing. I love it. I oh love my it. Gosh, All hilarious. Right. Okay, should we spin the wheel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wrote a rap song for fifth grade graduation <laughs> called Bust Them Drugs. <laughs> Berbiglia. <laughs> yeah! There's All a right. thing. There's a sixth grade. It's called the Dare Program. We oh, Dare. I remember. And we it, remember. the slogan was, "We dare you not to use drugs." The most confusing slogan in the history yeah. of time. <laughs> so, we're just like, "We did, you so, dare us to do drugs or to not do drugs? <laughs> to not, you know." And then I asked. Officer Babin, real name, if I could perform a rap song I wrote called Bust Them Drugs based Can on you a Bust Them Movie. I can't remember. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, it was just like, you know, this is a tale for all the sixth graders. It was terrible. I, I can't even They pretend. said the only way to watch it was high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a good one. Spin, spin the again. wheel. Okay, well, now we know. Yeah. Or do we? Yeah. Maybe I'll yeah. hope we'll switch up. My spouse got food poisoning at a oh. rehearsal dinner. It was in the no. ER the morning of her wedding. That Sorry. could not have happened to you, Seth. Seth we would have you, heard about you it. You already had the baby You had a baby thing. in a lobby, and your no, wife also got No, that's a Berbiglia. No, it's Seth. Seth Miles. Seth Miles. Classically Seth Miles. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it was. You were Wait. thinking about Seth Meyers. What happened to Seth Meyers? So what, what happened to her? She got better? Uh, no, no. Still has food poisoning. Uh, I, you know what? The doctor, the doctor said no, we I do mean, now think it's wedding. who she married. Um, yeah, on the was wedding, she, able she to was. Enjoy? She uh, she got through it. She's a real um, she's a real rock star. But she was the morning of. She was in the in the hey. hospital. Oh my god! Yeah. Brutal. You've had a lot of trauma issues around huge events. But like you know what? Mike and I will both tell you when those terrible things happen, you're like, content. <laughs> yeah, comedy, comedy. I'm comedy sure is tragedy plus is. time. That's oh, a good so one. Happy. Still in the you are and you're taking lot, notes. I don't All know right. what's happened. Many times when something like chaotic is happening, my wife goes, stop writing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's spin it again. We have one more. Yeah, last one. Oh. It could be anyone. It could, could be, be anyone. anyone. I was once mistaken for another celebrity while on vacation in the French Alps. Okay, French first of all, Alps. who's dropping the fancy, French Alps here? Fancy, fancy. Al- Al- Bonjour. Allison. Oh. Allison. Oh. Allison. No, it wasn't me. I just wanted to prove that I also <laughs> know French. <laughs> really well done. Okay, it so was it, me. Seth, it was me. Yeah. Seth. Who did they think It was were? Bradley Cooper. It was a, uh, it was a blind family. <laughs> They said you were Bradley Somebody Cooper. took a photo and then a uh, French family was like, that was Bradley Cooper. It was very... <laughs> I don't, like, I don't like this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not fans of this story where you're in the Alps and mistaken for Bradley Cooper. No thanks, Seth Miles. <laughs> it's just go to the Alps. It's like where... That was like a two name With drop story. Oh right? my God. Fancy Come on. Place. I can't even pick man. this story. You guys learn... <laughs> We're doing comedy. Learn about self-deprecation. Yeah. I mine was like... about creating a rap song for the Dare it graduation. Really sucky. Yeah, and mine was like, I'm also lame. <laughs> you know what? When Bradley Cooper's here. Ask him how many times. He's been <laughs> Will you please tell Will you tell please? us the rest of your <laughs> French <laughs> Alps stories? <laughs> Oh my well, God. Which, which, Alp were, which Alp were you? In? I mean, I do a lot of the Alps, so it's hard to remember. It was one of the beautiful ones. It was so nice. Have you done, have you done the Alps, Mike? No. Oh, you should do that. Allison. I went once, and they, they mistaken me for Angelina Jolie. It's, so it's the altitude. Everybody goes crazy. Yeah. Everybody looks like everybody. Oh, my heights. God. This would oh be a good God. show. The two of you y'all, would be a good show. I'm in. I'm in. What's for that? Is, All right. Hilarious. I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> you can. We want to yeah, thank you, Seth uh, and Mike. Again, it's called Good One, a show about <laughs> jokes, streaming right now on Peacock. Yeah, and of course, Late Night with Seth Meyers airs weeknights at 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m.? Look at that, look never at that humble it. facial <laughs> position so right there. You guys are acting like we've never met. <laughs> it's so late. Yeah. I didn't realize how late it was. 12.30 a.m. and also streams <laughs> on Peacock. Peacock. <laughs> Coming up, Allison is going to hang around. She's going to tell us yes. about her new show <laughs> with Annette Benning. You manifested it. Amazing. Oh, 